Hello, my name is Brian Dick. I'm a software engineer, and this is my YouTube tutorial series on the HackerRank Interview Preparation Kit. Currently, we're going over greedy algorithms, and this is the luck balance problem. Lena is preparing for an important coding competition that is preceded by a number of sequential preliminary contests. Initially, her luck balance is zero. She believes in saving luck and wants to check her theory. Each contest is described by two integers, L sub i and T sub i. L sub i is the amount of luck associated with the contest. If Lena wins a contest, her luck balance will decrease by L sub i, and if she loses it, her luck balance will increase by L sub i. T sub i denotes the content's importance rating. It's equal to 1 if the contest is important and equal to 0 if it is unimportant. If Lena loses no more than k important contests, what is the maximum amount of luck that she can uh, have after competing in all of the preliminary contests? This value may be negative. Okay, so if Lena loses all of her contests, uh, her, her will be, I think they meant to say luck, her luck will be 5 plus 1 plus 4, which is equal to 10. She's allowed to uh, lose two important contests, and there are only two important contests. She can lose all three contests to maximize her luck at 10. If k is equal to 1, she has to win at least one of the two important contests. She would choose to win the lowest value important contest, worth 1. Her final luck will be 5 plus 4 minus 1, which is equal to 8. So we are supposed to create a function, luck balance, in the editor below, and it takes in an int k, the number of important contests that Lena can lose, and an int uh, con a contest, a 2D array of integers where contest sub i contains two integers that represent the luck balance and the importance of the ith contest. Write a function that returns the maximum balance achievable. Okay, so since this is the greedy algorithm uh, section, of the interview preparation kit, I think it is only fitting that we use a greedy algorithm here. There are plenty of other ways we could solve it, but uh, it just kind of makes sense to use a greedy algorithm here. So basically, uh, let me get this kind of sorted where it's easy to see. All right. So basically, we have our function here, luck balance, and as I said, we have k. This is the number of 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 uh, these contests that we're allowed to win, um, or we have to win, rather. Uh, then we have contest, and uh, we are going to need a few variables here. So we're going to want int luck. So this is the luck that we return at the end, and it starts out at zero. And at the end, we're going to want to return this. So just make sure we remember that. Boom. Uh, so we have luck. We're also going to want a, another vector. So we're going to call this um, vector of int important contest. So this is going to be storing the important contest, oops, the in, uh, important contest that are left over. So effectively, we can lose, we can afford to lose all of our unimportant contests. That way you can maximize our luck. But if it is an important contest, we don't really care how important it is. We just care about the value of luck that it will take or give. So for that reason, um, it's important that we go ahead and keep track of the important contest. And now let's, I think those are the only two variables we need to keep track of, uh, at least as of right now. So we're gonna get right into this. We're gonna create a for each loop. So we're gonna do that by saying uh, we want a vector of ints, and we're gonna just call this contest. So this is the current contest, if you will, from our contest plural <laughs> array. Um, and then we're going to want to look at the importance value. So we're going to say if our contest, and the importance value is our second value, so sub 1, if this is equal to 0, we're just going to take it automatically. We're going we're gonna to lose this automatically to give us more luck. So our luck is just going to plus equal uh, by the contest sub 0. So boom, um, else 
if oh, I hate it when it does that. There we go. If our if it's not equal to zero, then that means this must be an important contest, which means we need to store this value. So we're going to say important contest tab uh, dot push back the contest sub I, uh, sub zero. So this is taking the value of luck, the amount of luck that this contest is worth, and we're pushing this back into important contests. So now we have this array of ints that is just the values of these important contests. Now outside of this for each loop, we're gonna go down and we're going to sort this array of important contests. So we're gonna call the sort function and we're gonna go on important contest dot r again comma important contest dot r end. So we have that. Oops. No, no, we don't want to do that yet. So now we have our array sorted. So our important contest have now been sorted. I forgot a semicolon. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to go through and start at the beginning, which is the highest value, because we have the highest value at the front, the lowest value at the end. So we want to take the absolute highest values and lose as many of these high value games as we can, or contest. So we're going to say int index is equal to zero. And we're going to say, while uh, k while k is greater than zero, and while index is less than our important contest array or vector dot size, while these two statements are true, we want to increment our luck by these contests and decrement the k. So the, the k is the maximum number of contests that we're allowed to lose. So we want to lose as many of our high value contests as possible. So we're going to say luck plus equals um, important contest at sub index. Then we are going to decrement our k and increment our index. Once we get out of this loop, we are only going to have the contest that we have to win left over. So now we're going to do another while loop using the same index that we declared up here uh, that has been modified in this first while loop. We're going to use this again. While index is less than important contest dot size. We're going to go into this while loop and we're going to decrement for each of these contests that we are forced to win. And these are now what's left over in our array, which would be the lowest values. So let's just get that there. And of course, make sure we're incrementing our index. Now, once we get out of this while loop, we have gone through all of our contests. We have lost all the contests that we want to lose that are the highest values. And we have won all the contests that are the lowest values that we had to win. And we lost everything unimportant so that our luck is maximized when we get to the real contest. Okay, so now let's go ahead and run our code. Make sure we did not miss any more semicolons. And we pass those three and let's submit it. Make sure we pass all of our tests. And there you go. That is how you can solve the luck balance problem using a greedy algorithm. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more content. I am going to start branching out away from these tutorials and do some more um, questions that I had when I was a CS student uh, and start answering some of these for people on the internet. Uh, and hope that it can help some people that are just starting off in computer science and kind of wanting to get a better grasp of what kind of careers there are or, and such. Um, and you'll start to see my face a little bit on this channel. Um, it's in the works. I'm, I'm editing a video right now on it. Um, 
but I just needed to get something out there because it's taking me a lot longer than I initially thought it would to get out a video with like actual script and acting and like actual content that's harder to do than just a problem. So that should be out in the next uh, week or two, I would say. So be looking out for that um, and subscribe for that kind of content. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.